All right, baby, Ottawa's first game of 2023 is a huge success. 3-1 win over the Buffalo Sabres. 40 seconds in, Tim Stutzla, his first of two goals tonight. Beautiful goal there on former Senator Craig Anderson. By the way, shout out to Craig Anderson. Love this guy. If you're an OG fan of Sens Talk, you know our biggest interview probably we'll ever have was with Craig Anderson. 2015 Sens Skills Competition on the ice. Shout out to Craig Anderson. Best goaltender in franchise history. I had to make it out tonight to watch him play. Not a great start for him though. 40 seconds in, one nothing Ottawa. But after that, frankly, it was a really, really chippy affair. Um, not much going on for either team. Uh, Buffalo ties it up midway through the game, but Ottawa would get that lead right back. Jake Lucchini on the power play. His first ever power play shift ends up with a goal. His first NHL goal, and it's an incredible story. Jake Lucchini, 70 points in 90 games or so in Belleville. Career minor leaguer, 27 years old, first career NHL goal. He's been buzzing since getting the call up from Belleville. Well deserved. He frankly should be around long term with the Ottawa Senators for the rest of the season. Every single time he's on the ice with that line of Gambrell and Parker Kelly, they are creating something. Jake Lucchini, every single game has gotten chances and it's great to see one of these chances finally go in for him. Well deserved and once again, great story. 27 years old, career minor leaguer, getting his first career NHL goal. It's a beautiful moment. We go to the third period of play. Like I said already, not much going on in this game. Pretty boring to be honest with you, but it doesn't matter. Ottawa needed this win. With this win, they would pass the Buffalo Sabres in the standings by one point. Of course, they do it. They win three to one. Tim Stutzla gets the empty net goal for a second of the game. Ottawa takes down the Buffalo Sabres. Yesterday, they lost four to the Detroit Red Wings. Gave up three goals in like a minute and a half in the third period of play. So a huge bounce back win here at home. The first win, the first game in 2023. Hopefully, this is a sign of what's to come in the year of 2023. So ladies and gentlemen, a huge win here in front of the Sens fans. And hopefully, like I just said, this is just the beginning of something great in 2023. Ottawa has officially passed Buffalo in the standings. And ladies and gentlemen, the Sens are back. Let's go. Go Sens, go.